Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So Universal Workshop is far and away the best deck in parallel right now, and this particular New Dawn list I've crafted in an attempt to try and ruin their days a little bit. I've been on a huge New Dawn kick and I've been going back and forth on the list, but I really like this one because of the amount of like steel mechanics to try and grab those Freitas and Ingrids uh, out of their deck. Uh, so it does have three copies of Treacherous Scheming, uh, which I would probably keep in the mulligan, maybe at least one copy against uh, a uni shop, uh, or probably just one copy. And then I've also got, let's see, the Fanatical Crewmans, three copies of those, which because I'm playing three of these, I also go for the Void Unleashed because they just combo so well together. And honestly, the Void Unleashed is a pretty decent win condition against them. Uh, not great against aggro, but you can always just bank it, of course, right? Uh, and then, of course, you've got Adira to steal and that type of stuff. So I'm not saying it's a foolproof plan. The best deck in the meta is still going to get you sometimes, but I've had many a games where I've stolen, you know, the girls and things have just lined up kind of nicely and I do think it's sort of important to understand how to play against them pretty well so for example uh, also three copies of demolecularize always especially new dawn uh, or always for new dawn but uh, for example if there is a turn that you know you're going to demolecularize the next turn you might not want to use honored steward on a unit going into the demo the next turn because if you do demo then they're going to get that unit back from the steward, which basically gives them a target for like a Freitas, right? So uni shop is really good at like applying pressure in the early game and then just kind of punching you down with some of their EDN hammers um, or having, you know, a again, a unit on the board for Freitas to buff it up and then deal the four damage to the face. So it's little things like that that can put you in a position to beat them. Also, you know, always prioritize going for ramp against them. I feel like that's pretty important because, you know, their turn seven, turn eight boards can be really scary and very wide with the amount of tokens that they can generate. Um, and you are likely going to want to demo them. But one thing that I've found my opponents doing a lot is playing Lord Harf right into, you know, the, your turn eight blocking you from being able to play it. So Lord Harf is also a pretty decent steel target if obviously the girls are like priority number one, but Harf is a decent steel target uh, to sort of stop them from, you know, blocking you here, which is why ramping like shard or uh, logistic support cruisers is really important. Uh, but also the Edian hammer is a decent steel target too, because, you know, after they apply that pressure, they can then finish you off with the six damage from those hammers so those are some of the best steel targets and yeah it's a good time i i like i said i've been on a new dawn kick i've been absolutely loving it and this is the version that i'm having the most fun with and i feel like puts me in the best position to uh beat the uni shops and the rest of the mashups are fairly straightforward right same same deal with the aggro stuff trying to get the singularity steward and the life siphons and the and the mulligan is always a good good idea okay i'm gonna show you guys some highlight games that i've had with the deck i hope you guys enjoy this video if you do try the deck out and you get some success against the uni shop let me know in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next one Well, we did hit the deck that I was expecting that we would hit. So we'll see if we can snipe their good cards. Okay, I like peeping both of these. I honestly don't even hate that that much for the juggernaut coming out, but I don't know if it's super necessary to keep. I might just like bank the PS8. So we're going first. This adds a corrupted copy of a card from your opponent's class uh, to your hand. And basically corrupted cards are like, you have to pay the mana cost in addition to the cost in health. So this will cost me two energy as well as two uh, health. Actually, we could play this first. This is just like two mana. I think I will do this. 
Seems fine. It's just two damage. If it were to destroy it, you banish it. And anytime you banish something, you're putting it into your singularity. Pog Champ. This is the new Battle Pass card for the month of September. It's Battle Cry, which is muster. Um, bank the top card of your deck so it ramps you. Um, so let's... I guess we don't really need... I mean... Do I want to overclock? Maybe. I mean, I would be able to do this next turn. Do I really need two erasures? So, it'll bank another card, meaning it ramped me. Um, and it's actually cool because it, when it banks the card, it gives you the energy. You can see the energy crystal immediately. So if I had a one drop, obviously I would be able to play it. But see, the only downside is that like it does, you know, bank a random or the card off the top of your deck. So sometimes it, you might actually like want what it banks, but and then you can't really interact with your bank or most of the time. Ooh, that's a spicy meatball. Well, I got the hand disruption. I guess we will bank this. Put this down. And do I want to save this for the Juggernaut next turn, or should I just use... Honestly, maybe I should just erasure this and then do the this next turn, because then I don't have to deal with it coming back. But putting the 4-4 on the board also seems pretty reasonable, because it's also mana efficient, in which I'd be able to play both of these next turn. Basically, this 4-4 banishes something until it leaves the battlefield, so if I don't find a way to pull this out of my Singularity before the 4-4 dies, it will go back to their side of the board. But I guess I'm just tempted for the mana efficiency, because next time... This is going to pop out a one of these next turn, a 4-4, a 3-6, or a 2-5. Um, and so it's really nice to banish their Juggernauts that get popped out because they're tokens, meaning that when this dies, it won't come back on the board, right? Just tokens, like, once they're vanished, they're just, they're gone. Um. Oh, wow, we got another one. Oh, but I don't know how I feel about banking. I mean, I guess I kind of need to do this, don't die, before their turn seven. I guess I should probably kill this first before playing a treacherous scheming, right? So we'll do this. Mm-hmm. And then I guess we double trade. Because they have the Death Rattle or Aftermath ability draws a card. So now, am I really banking this? I guess so. And then I'm going to play Thoughtseize. And then see if I can snipey dipey. I did not hit any of the good stuff. Uh. Music is hype. Um, do be careful not to run out of cards in hand. Yeah. So once I get my new Dawn, like my Paragon developed, then I'll start being able to pull out these cards. We dodged. This card is six mana, deal one damage for every card in your singularity. <clears throat> I guess I could have taken black market pitcher so that it was, didn't have a good way to kill the thing, but that's okay. Let's draw a card, see what we get. Ooh. Do I want to do this again? Should I just get New Dawn going? Fuck. Oh my god. Actually, I probably should have traded here so that they don't have a target for the, um... Gun barge. 
But I guess I have this in my hand. I have this here. Damn, they're going to be at 13 instead of 12. That's unfortunate. But I guess I could go here too, though. And then I've got this and this. Now they're going to get their thing back. Yeah, I probably should have traded. Mm -hmm. So that's the last unit that was played for this. Okay. Mm. That's the last unit. I don't think they've played an effect. They have played a relic, though. Got swarmed by the looks of it. Um, I'm not that stressed just yet here. What card do we want out of our Singularity, though? This? Ooh, long. So I need one mana to send this back, so I've got seven. Kind of just want to play this, and like this and this. What am I hitting, though? Let's start out with this and see what happens. The new dawn rises. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I sniped Freitas. That's pretty exciting. We must decide quickly. Um, would I rather have a Glaive or one of these right now? Guess I don't really want them to have that. Maybe that's bad to give them that. I don't know, maybe I do want the hammer, but I have to take six damage. I wonder if I give them a, a corrupted copy. You know what I mean? I gave them a corrupted copy. So this card plays the last relic, effect, and um, unit. So we would get this, which is like a card draw engine, but that wasn't very good. We have eight cards in the singularity, so this is dealing eight damage right now. Well, I guess it'll deal seven when we pull a card out with New Dawn. There are three Twisting Nethers, essentially, in this deck, so if I could find those, that would be ideal, because one, that puts a lot of cards in my Singularity, making this bigger, but also it kind of eliminates uh, the threat of the board. I guess leaving this on the board is a little sketch, because if they do find Ingrid, they could play this and steal it. <laughs> Honestly, if we don't find the Demon Molecular Eyes off the top, we might need to go for this, because then we could find it. Needs to not take enough damage. The fact that we stole the Ingrid is a good sign, though. 26. Okay, kill a 1 1, please. Thank you. Might just need to take. No! In Erasure, do we like the Treacherous Scheming? What was the last thing that they played? This. I don't even know if they played a unit. I don't know if we need this at this point. Probably send this back. We can play Wong. Open for business. So there's my demo. So I may take that. And now what do we want to kill? The three six? Or can I get away with just going here? How much damage is this? If they steal this, that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I would not be dead. I could just go here and lay the, let the three six live and then go for the demo the following turn, maybe. We must the new dawn Actually, no, they can't steal this because it's higher than Ingrid. Never mind. Seven bodies already. Yeah, currently four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage coming at me. Oh, and I did give them a hammer back though. Kind of forgot about that. Maybe giving them the hammer was the bad idea. Or no, I did. I did. I give them back the hammer, and I and I banked the the glaive. I did. Yeah, but it's a corrupted hammer, I think, and so it'll have to take six damage in order to play it. This is always what happens when I look away. Seven bodies. Yeah, they're not that. Am I? They're not that terrifying, though. Like they're just one ones. Yeah, there's, there's the hammer. 
Like as long as I'm not in range. Let's see. Mm. Okay, I don't know if it did actually if it does give them a corrupted one. Okay, that puts them to twelve. Which is cool, so I'm at 14 now. <clears throat> so I want to have a one drop on the board. So we send our new Dawn back. And we play the Molecular Eyes. And honestly, do I even put this one drop on the board? Because I feel like if they do play Ingrid, they would just steal it. And then that's just like three health that I have to get through for the Void Unleashed. Like, what if I just play nothing? But then they're just Ingriding my O3, which is pretty whatever. I feel like I shouldn't play it. Cause then, it, okay, cause then if they find their Ingrid and they steal it, then I'm gonna feel the need to like banish Ingrid. And then if I'm banishing Ingrid, this means that will grow. Which sounds a little annoying, you know? Mm -hmm. Sounds like you played something similar to Dark Hole. So the Demolecular Eyes is basically just a, a tw like a banish, eight mana banish everything. Get a three, three. That kind of works, I guess. Burn something. So, oh, oh, I can't play this because it's a muster. I feel like I should just use it now and still put nothing on the board. I don't want to die to another hammer, you know? Like I could do this and then that's 15 damage. Or I should, maybe I should erase the Miasmancer. No, cause this thing's, I, I don't want that to deal damage to me. If I put Harf down, that's two, that's five, six, seven. Please kill that thing. Please kill that thing. Please kill that thing. Thank you. Isn't there a hammer in my hand? Or in my singularity? Yeah. But now they're going to pop out a, a taunt. That's fine. We have an erasure for it. What's up, the Brazilian kid? How you doing? We just need to avoid more than one defender can you not hit freitas holy shit that would have been unlucky oh no i didn't bank freitas did i no 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 i didn't bank freitas i got I panicked kozo um reveals a random enemy banked card and then they can play it and so against universal it's sometimes really scary to bank like if you if i this is one of their their eight drop that's amazing right if i were to snipe that and then bank it and then they play kozo they have the option to like get lucky. Oh my God, the harf actually ruins my whole plan here. I don't have the mana to, I don't, I don't have the mana to win this, right? I don't, cause the, it's a seven mana play. That's unfortunate. Well, I can just go for demo again, right? There's only one Void Unleashed. That was the six mana card that deals damage based on how many cards in your singularity. I only have one in here, uh, but I kind of want a second one. <laughs> Get wrecked. I had the craziest New Dawn uni game on stream. 30 minutes that involved two enraged beasts and what retaliating sentry? I don't know what retaliating sentry is, but I know um, the enraged beast. I low key lo love that card. You won, nice, congratulations. I don't know myself. 
Dang, trash talking? Nah, we're not trash talking. Alright, well, we got there. Someone's gonna get fired over this. Hey! Guys! Remember my whole spiel on why I wanted to play the Fanatical Crewman list because I wanted to try and snipe the uni shop? It kind of worked out. I'm gonna keep Glaive. Hell yeah! Shard into Glaive. Let's go. I think the best chance to like find do uh, meet community members and, and everybody is when it's like a it's a meetup, right? So a like a TwitchCon or maybe like Parallel World Championship, that type of thing. Uh, if I'm gonna go shard into four, do I need not even put this down? No, I have to put this down. But what do I? I guess I would forego playing this if I could answer a bannerman, maybe. If I get, I mean, they're never gonna play the bannerman into this, right? Ooh, go here into here, but am I going to bang, try and snipe like a triumph or do I wanna have a life siphon for this? I feel like I'd rather have the answer, but I don't know 100% how I feel about that. I actually don't know this song. Mm -hmm. You can believe that. Toronto next month? Nice. I would really like to go to Toronto. I'm sure I'll get there someday. Someday, with all the Canadians in the parallel team. Mm -hmm. I really want to go to Vancouver. It's your least favorite of the Canadian big cities. Oh my goodness. Don't let the, the parallel devs hear you say that. The only, this is the only thing I know about Ohio. I, I've been to Kings Island before when I was a kid. Here, this is another, I discovered this song about Ohio not that long ago. It's kind of, it's cozy. I don't really want to get New Dawn going. Like I could technically do this and get New Dawn going and have a 2-4, but that means that I, on turn eight, I wouldn't be able to. But I don't really like anything else. Am I really just gonna throw hard Harf down to just be killed immediately? And I need something to bank, too. Like, I feel like it's probably bank this and then go here. Or I just bank this and I just go balls to the wall and... Debt must be paid. And say, pick your choice. Which one do you want to clear? Rewarded. A little surprised we banked the siphon because we could siphon the pod and clear this. Well, at the time we didn't know that. What did I choose to bank instead? I mean, I don't really think there was a. I can't remember what we we, we banked a. Get off my ship. I don't know. I don't really feel like there was that great of a bank target other than the siphon. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is gonna work out pretty nicely for us, I think. Proud, so I can get one of these. Or do I want one of these for card draw? Well, this is also card draw too, and I ramp. Um, but on, but drawing a three four could be pretty nice right now. I guess I don't mind them. Like, I, let's make them throw that away. Let's go here, and then I guess this is kind of crazy banking my other thing, but I'm sort of down. Could have maybe done this first. What do I take? The triumph or the... Honestly, I don't... Maybe I should take the Cindy, now that I think about it. A tactical missile. I feel like maybe the Cindy is the move. I didn't realize all this was at three health. Mm-hmm. I do love Disney songs, yes. Mm-hmm. 
What's in here? Triumph. I mean, at least I can have that. Actually, that's probably pretty decent to have in my Singularity. I'm a little stressed about not having my demos, though, I will say that. All right, thoughts on just, like, playing this. Is that insane? What else was in there? I don't know, I kind of like it. Ooh, I don't really want to throw this on the bottom of the deck, though, if I play the Triumph. Top three Disney songs? Um, wow. Oh my god. Top three Disney songs. I mean, do you want personal favorites or just like what I genuinely think is like all around? Like the Lion King soundtrack is pretty insane. Like just all around. But my personal favorite three, I really have a spot, soft spot for I Can Go the Distance from Hercules. Um, let me look at my Disney playlist. I listen to Disney music to help me, like, connect with my inner child. <laughs> um, Star Wars. Hang on. Okay, so I can demo this board after I kill the Harf and then send my thing back and then demo. What am I banking if I do that? Is that actually the right move, though? I don't know if I necessarily need to do that. I definitely need to send that back. I don't really have a great bank target though. All right, let me, let me, let me um, answer this question. This requires more thought than I can give you right now. Um, we could trade here and then just bank and then go demo or we could kill the Harf, play the Adira. I mean, that seems fine. I feel like not killing. <laughs> I guess I could have played this and then maybe kept my Adira alive. That also could have been a reasonable play, too. I might be able to just bank this, because now I'm starting to get a little bit more draw. We did just find the three worst cards in their deck, yes. Uh, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Desi, thank you so much for the 52 months. I've got too many. I'm thinking about Disney songs. I got too many things going on in my brain right now. Um, hold on. Throwbacks? Let's see. Uh, stories. Okay. Colors of the Wind is definitely up there. Colors of the Wind is a beautiful song. Yeah, Go the Distance is there for sure. Guard duty. Guard duty. Uh, have you ever heard the wolf cry to the blue corn moon? It's just so good. It's just like such a beautiful encapsulation of life and nature. I'm a big fan of it. Um, I've never had to pick three. Can you feel the love tonight? I mean, obviously that's a classic. Beauty and the Beast was my favorite as a, as a child. But I don't know what would be my favorite Beauty and the Beast song though. I do love just like Belle but I don't know if that's my fave. Also, You'll Be In My Heart by Hercules. That might be up there. Shall we trade first so we can get a draw and then demo? You'll Be In My Heart is Tarzan. Is Tarzan not Disney? Finally, action. Phil Collins is so good and sane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said Her Tarzan soundtrack is Disney. You said Hercules. Bro, I'm multitasking. I'm sorry. I I don't actually. Yes, I'm. I yeah. I'm trying. Okay, guys, I'm trying. I'm trying to play the game and tell you all the things. Uh, do I want to just throw this out so that Kathy has a shot to not hit me in the face? Yes, I think so. What do we want to bank at this point? I don't really feel like I need the triumph. I think I just want shit on the board. Mm -hmm. um, all right, I hope you enjoy your backpacking, just, jo uh, just jossing. Please don't hit my face. I played the one one to play around this. I deserve to tank. Okay. That's it. No mercy. 
Would have been nice if we hit that, because then we could trade. Uh, maybe I should take a... Taunt here. Open for business. Okay, we need to kill them ASAP. I'm really sad that that Kathy hit our face. Sorry, I know I haven't given you a straight answer on the three songs, but it's really, really difficult. Okay, maybe You'll Be My Heart, Go the Distance, and Colors of the Wind, maybe. I Won't Say I'm in Love is also a classic. And I also love A Whole New World. I'm, you know, there's so many good ones. Circle of Life, amazing. Moana's How Far I'll Go. That's a banger. That is a banger. Mm-hmm. How do I beat you, Donna's brand? You don't. Just kidding. Uh, you play three unseen allies. And you try to make uh, powerful boards with the allies. Okay, that was pretty good and annoying. Wow, that was like really good. Is Coco Disney too? Coco might be D Disney too. Desi, thank you very much for the 52 months, by the way. But I don't know if I said thank you. Uh, should I just put double taunt down? Or I wish I could click on the board. What is... Oh, let's just take double taunt here. Oh. All right, hear me out. Maybe we don't throw New Dawn back. And we go like 3-4-4. Four, four. Maybe that's not necessary. We could also put this three down. I know we're not going to bank a card, but we would still get a draw, which could be reasonable. But I feel like, oh my god, they're out of cards. Allie, you're fine. You're chilling. You're being chilling. Guard duty. Sorry, I didn't realize they had no guard cards duty. left. That's my bad. <laughs> we can attack with New Dawn next turn. That's an accomplishment. I mean, they could still get a random... Dead. Okay, sure. Paid. Well done, Commander. Oh yeah, they are out. I, I look, I didn't even notice they were out of cards too until a second ago. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Let's actually focus and see if we can beat this. Thing. Is it insane to keep two LSCs? No. Maybe. No, it's not. I am, I know. I'm very, I am, have a lot of shit. A lot of shit going on. If they can do mobile, can't they... Optimize the low-res PC setting. Oh, they're, they're working on all of it. Like, max support, optim optimization for PC, mobile. Like, there's... Um, they're, they're, they're working on it all. Do I need three? I probably don't need three. I'd rather have this stuff, perhaps. But I want it now. Well, you know what? Sometimes we have to wait for nice things. Colony coming soon, too. Colony, I'm really hyped for. So if I play this next turn, what do I want to bank here? Is it just bank the siphon? I don't really want to get rid of any of these. I don't know if I necessarily need Wong, but... Maybe keeping two was bad. I mean, I don't know. It's not really like I had a Void Trapper. I, guess I did have an O3. But I don't think I had anything to combo with it. And it's not even like, whoa, this is unusual. That is unexpected. I almost want to go like three. I guess I'm probably going to have to play this next turn. But I almost like doing three now and then like three, three. Do I really need Wong? I probably don't need this. If they kill this, I will burn a card. 
preeminent postal. Thank you very much for the raid. Hope you had a lovely day. Lovely stream. Appreciate you. The Biebs. Dude, Ghost by Justin Bieber is such a good song. And your opinion is wrong if you think otherwise. So these things have uh, counters. Every time that you cast a spell, they get a counter. And you can remove a counter to deal two, two damage to something. So casting effects like into this is kind of scary. But we don't have to. Okay, there we go. Just don't burn a demo and I'll be happy. The new dawn rises. Okay, well, being too energy ahead of your opponent feels pretty decent. It's a little awkward though, because we can only really do one thing next turn, but maybe we'll get a card off of this one two draw. It's not very often you're facing a juggernaut that is not uni. Could go for a Dira next turn, maybe. We'll see what we get. Uh, okay, options are to just like banish this to like stop their card draw. It feels like a fairly reasonable play. The other option is to like a Dira. I feel like I like stopping their card draw. It's a little awkward with the amount of... Like, it'd be nice to find a way to have control of the board without relying on our effects, because two turrets is kind of scary. Bieber is cool. You can't give an American hormonal teen millions of dollars and think they aren't going to fuck up their lives a little bit. I mean, honestly, all things considered, I feel like the Biebs has been, like... I mean, has he really been that crazy? I think... I think if any... he, I feel like he's, like... He peed in a bucket. I mean, haven't we all? <laughs> Actually, I don't, I don't know that story. I don't really follow. I was not, I was not a Bieber girl when I was a teenager. Like, didn't have anything against him. I just wasn't. Like, I was a One Direction girly. Um, but from what I, it seems like, is that he's really tried to steer away from the limelight at this point. Like, I don't think he's out and about trying to be super famous probably because he already is but didn't he like sell all of the rights to his music too i think for like 200 mil he was like yeah y'all can have it yeah he mellowed out dude made, made bank on music and just lives his life exactly i'm like honestly i kind of respect the move i think it was more i heard the 200 million number and i was like that does not seem like that much all things considered did you see that zane was at that video game thing i did see that Drunk driving isn't so much fucking up your life as potentially ending others. I don't know if I'm unaware of that if you got a DUI, but I agree. I hate drunk driving. Um, okay, we could do eight. We could do a four and a four here. We probably should kill that five five. What is on this? Keth amphetamine. Okay, well, I mean, this needs to happen. <laughs> Should I play this? I kind of want to hold out on my last one. We must decide quickly. God, I wonder if I should even bank the erasure, because... I'm not really going to want to cast spells. Yeah, it's only 200 mil, but that's not much considering the lives they live. A small loan of 200 million dollars. I mean, don't get me wrong. 200 million dollars is a lot of money. But I think just relatively speaking, like, the whole your whole music catalog is for 200 mil seems like not that much. I don't know. But he probably has so much money, like, for all, like, at that point, I think he probably was just like, I'm done. Like, I've got money in other areas from sponsorships and other things 
uh, we're talking about Justin Bieber, Jay Chosen, that he probably was just like, I just want to take the money and like remove myself. Yeah. You know, it's like he's probably seen some shit. I, I feel like the music industry is so, oof, so fucked. I don't know. That is ridiculously low. That's what I'm saying, right? <laughs> Plus, he has a bunch of medical problems. No, I don't know. I don't know. That sucks if he does. But I think he has a new baby, right? Look, I respect it. I feel like if he wants to just chill, have his family, I'd sell my cat for 200 mil. Holy shit. I don't, I don't think I would sell Willow for $200 million. I mean, what, like, what's the deal? Can I go see her? You know, is, is that okay? Like, do I get access to her all the time? I don't, I don't think I'd do it. Destroy, what is, uh, defense room? It has battle ready. Maybe I should just play this. Buy yourself up, yeah. Buy her back for a hundred million. I feel like that's cheating. I feel like this is, you know what I mean? Like, is that legal? I, I, I if it's legal. Uh, shit. Could I have passed on that? Maybe I could have passed on that. Oh my god, did I just kill myself? No, I don't think you can pass on that, can you? I probably should have just used this first. Should I go here or play, play a 4-4? No, I'll get my new Dawn going. Okay, sure. Sure. We must decide. I may have fucked up there. This is probably a game that we didn't need to lose. This is one of the best songs ever written. I'd play Shroud for 200 million. Like, no strings, just a sale, buy her back for 100. I mean, if I can do that, let's go. But I really fucking love my cat. Allie, what's your opinion on the kid Leroy? As people say he's an industry plant. I don't know much about him, to be completely honest. I feel like it, it's not that hard to tell if someone's like like an industry plan. You know what I mean? Like if someone has a pretty organic like growth, I think it's not that hard to see. Like and then you've got people who get like put in deals like Ice Spice, no disrespect to Ice Spice, but like she doesn't even have like a full ass like album out, but she's like in all these things. Like obviously, you know. <laughs> it's like you don't even have an album. Um I th or maybe she, like, the last time I checked, she didn't. Um, but, I, I mean, it's really nothing against her. It's, like, she wants to, like, you go, girl. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <sighs> I can't cast cards. I cannot cast, or I can't cast spells. I'm at six. How am I going to win this game without being able to... I stand mm. watch. We must decide quickly. Am I insane? I thought that kill switch. Did they change that? I guess they changed that. I guess they did. They was that on the last update? They did change that, didn't they? I totally forgot about that. They did. That's my B. Okay, well I was operating in the way that it used to work. I mean, honestly, they probably still should have hit this, right? I was trying to get around the kill switch. Cuz if I'd hit this on the thing, then I would have traded there. Yeah, it was the most recent. Yeah, 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 I think. Doc told me to travel this COVID on the plane. Okay, we're at six. Okay. How much longer for stream, by the way? Uh, what time is it? 2.34. But honestly, this might be the last one. Very, very, like, I'm almost, I'm almost done. Uh, 
Uh, sure, we'll take that. We'd be... Okay. So let's see. How do we want to do this? This is just a trade. I stand watch. What do you want to? What do you want to play, chat? Adira. Honestly, nah. Let's go for damage. Five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. The new dawn rises. <laughs> Actually, I guess I could die to what, like a hammer if they've got it? There has not been an avatar. I already got an avatar giveaway. Fitch came in my, during my last stream. <gasps> unexpected, unexpected, unexpected. I should have thought about AOP. Closing time. All right, well, this could be potentially problematic. If I cast a spell, these are gonna do... Oh, I'm gonna be really triggered if I lose this game. I guess I could take that. No, I can't take that. If I demo this board, how would they do two damage to me? Another turret. Is that just what I should do? Should I just... The other option is to, like, play Adira into... Actually, I guess that's two, four, five. I could answer that and leave that on the board. Is the, But, like, if I leave anything on the board, I could get... No one's gonna have a graphene battery, right? We must decide. That was a mighty fine, nice card to get, wasn't it, folks? Hopefully we did that fine. If I could have shot the other thing, it didn't really matter, I don't think. I guess they could have another AOP, which would be mildly irritating. But then I would just kill them with... The Void Unleashed, right? Yeah. Oh, they did have another one, too. Damn. Good thing I didn't uh, go for the demo. Have I played Magic the Gathering? Uh, yes. I never really played Paper, but when MTGA came out, I played a decent amount of it. I played it for about a year. There was actually a period of time where I completely stopped playing Hearthstone altogether and just played MTGA. Played in, like a couple tournaments here and there. I enjoyed it. It was really nice for me to like learn magic because Hearthstone was the first uh, card game that I ever started with. So I always felt a little left out that I didn't have that magic history. And so playing MTGA kind of, you know, taught me, taught me how to play. But I haven't played it in a very long time. All right, folks. Goodbye. I love the Void Unleashed. I kind of want a second copy in there, but yeah, that was a that was a good one. I was gonna be, I would have been really mad though if I had played the demo and then they had the six damage to kill me with the extra turret. <laughs>